welcome to the third episode of DJI Film School. While the pilot is flying the drone, the gimbal operator takes care of the camera movement and camera control. Let me show you how to set up and operate the gimbal on the Inspire 2. Establishing the right settings is essential and each gimbal operator prefers a different setup. It is crucial to optimize your gimbal settings to ensure a smooth workflow. You need to be able to work intuitively with your remote control. Set up your personal preferences and keep practicing. The movements will feel more natural each time as they are transferred to your muscle memory. When it comes to the gimbal stick configuration, some people like to have the gimbal pan and tilt on the same individual stick. Others prefer to separate the pan and tilt onto two different sticks. This can be helpful to control the axis independently, which often results in a smoother image. Make sure to map the gimbal roll on one stick so you can correct the horizon as well if needed. One of the most important things when operating the drone camera gimbal is finding the right gimbal speed settings. The Inspire 2 gives you a couple of options to configure the gimbal characteristics to your needs. You can configure gimbal speed, gimbal smoothness and gimbal expo separately for the pan and pitch axis. Configuring the gimbal for fast action sports often requires a different setup compared to shooting a landscape scene for example. It is crucial that the gimbal reacts fast enough to keep the cars in the frame. On the other hand, we don't want the speed of the gimbal to be too fast, otherwise we would have to continually correct the framing to keep the subject in frame. The shot would be ruined if there was an abrupt camera movement caused by the gimbal operator. Sometimes you also have to adjust your gimbal settings depending on your location to find the optimal balance between speed and precision. Try to start with values somewhere in the middle of the range and check if your settings are too fast or too slow. Some shots require more pan and tilt work than others. The smoothing feature is critical and helps create fluid movements and hide subtle corrections. You want to obtain a smooth movement and not stop the image too abruptly. But you also want to have the ability to change the direction fast enough if needed. In a nutshell, set the smoothing as low as possible and as high as necessary. To ensure the camera never hits the physical limit of the pan axis, enable quick spin as an option. There's nothing worse than almost finalizing a shot and the camera hits the end of its spin and ruins the shot. Assign the gimbal recenter feature to one of the buttons on the back of the remote controller. During the flight, the gimbal operator can reset the camera very quickly regardless of the gimbal settings. This helps when there is limited time between shots. We usually use a fixed focus on all WRC events, since focus pulling on such a fast action would be very hard. We always set ISO, aperture and shutter speed manually to have full control over the picture. The shutter speed should be double the frame rate to maintain a good balance between excessive and insufficient motion blur. Use ND filters for bright conditions to bring down the shutter speed. Using these, you'll have full control over your camera aperture. The use of the slow motion feature is nice when shooting a rally, because it highlights all the dirt and dust flying around. Just use a higher frame rate. So now you know how to set up your camera and gimbal to create some cool shots. And with the help of our excellent support crew, we managed to wrap up another rally. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.